tell me when. When? Now? <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> I said when. You said tell me when, I said when. Shut up! <laughs> oh! I'm <laughs> Welcome to another video, and as you can see by the title of this one, we have got another massive video for more spots and positions on Devastation. As always, smash a like straight away because these videos take absolutely ages, hours upon hours to make and wow, put together, cool. but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So straight off from the start, we've got a vehicle launch, uh, and it gets on top of the highest part of the bridge on the train on Devastation. There is an invisible barrier uh, to the left, um, but you can get an extra bit of That's height fine, here by yeah. climbing on this. Um, but yeah, just again, like the ones on Armage, another really cool spot and something really That's cool good. to see you can actually get onto. In this one here on the corner building, uh, if you destroy the one of the panels covering the windows, you can climb underneath uh, this part of the corner building. And it's actually very useful because a lot of enemies do tend to stay in this area, just like I do as well. Um, and yeah, it's a good hiding spot as well as uh, an unexpected location to shoot uh, people from that are coming from C or are running above you from D. Uh, here again on the low part of the train, I uh, never thought, I tried so many times to climb up, but if you jump and turn around, uh, you can actually climb on top of the train, uh, which is again another really cool uh, spot. Not very useful, but again, it's, it's another place you can go and another thing you can do, which we didn't think we could do before. Uh, now here, over towards A flag, if you destroy the top of these two bits of the buildings, you can actually climb uh, all the way up there. Um, again, not a, another massively useful one, but again, another cool place that you can uh, go. Uh, and somewhere, again, not previously shown in the previous video. Again, again, again. <laughs> so there's quite a few, uh, I wouldn't say super tricky jumps, but there's quite a few jumps and uh, things where you have to be a little bit precise just to make sure you don't fall off. Uh, but you can uh, climb all the way along the edge of this building. Uh, eventually, you will hit a barrier, an invisible barrier, which will stop you from going any further to the building uh, which you can see in front of you. Uh, so that's quite unfortunate, but there we are. Something you can also do, uh, which wasn't shown in the previous video. Um, if you do watch to the end of this video, uh, the final two to three minutes has just got some uh, funny clips or some failed attempts from some uh, vehicle launch uh, spots which we try to get into uh, but we have found out obviously since they have patched the, the game previously within the last year or two there is um, a, an, an invisible death barrier that is now the same height across the entirety of the map uh, which therefore stops you from getting to anywhere that is above that height so it's uh, not very uh, useful finding spots in that sense here we've got a uh, using the AA tank uh, we found you can get up onto this corner building uh, when I turn around in just a second and you can jump um, we need to try this one again, but you can climb up around the outside of this building to get a bit of height. You can see all the way in onto C flag through one or two of the big windows, which again is really, really uh, useful. You can see and shoot off enemies from an unexpected place and an unexpected position. Um, and there is an invisible barrier as well as this, the death barrier um, up here. Uh, but I have seen in a previous video on YouTube, there is a ledge you could potentially grab, which I haven't tried. If you turn to the right here uh, and don't fall off like I did. Um, but that is, as far as we know, the majority of the spot there. As well as if you get a bayonet charge, I'm pretty sure you can do a slide jump as well without a bayonet. But I wanted to land it first time. You can jump over to this ledge here, onto this, this corner building as well. Um, there is a barrier stopping you from going in the building or destroying the building and climbing up the building. Uh, like the previous one just shown, uh, but you can stand all around the outside uh, of this corner building too. Uh, he's not looking. I, I don't know what his name is. <laughs> Moving on, we now have a spot using a vehicle in the German spawn with a corner building, uh, which if you look in the mini map, you can find, uh, which you can then climb up onto the uh, wooden ledge. Uh, if you destroy the building behind, which I'll show in just a second, you can climb up. Unfortunately, this building does break differently to uh, ones around the map, which stops you from climbing all the way up uh, beyond this point here, um, where I thought you might potentially be able to get onto all of the buildings uh, by the, the spawn, uh, but unfortunately you can't break it in a way where you can climb up. Uh, maybe a supply drop launch is something we can try in the future, uh, but again, 
as I always say again in this video, another bit of height which you can get up to. And it's still very useful because if you lean and jump on the window here, uh, you can see uh, you know, all of the spawn flag um, as well as a bit further on to see. I wonder if you can snipe someone from here through the main window uh, that is standing on the organ in C flag. Uh, that'll be something really cool to see. Uh, this is just a small spot, not very useful, but somewhere that I've just shown that you can go because it is the ultimate guide to all spots uh, in the game, although this is the second video, so uh, there is two videos. Um, but you can get uh, above the room where the, the Easter egg um, box is for getting the hand pistol uh, in this game. Uh, but yeah, two little small rooms above the uh, which you can get into. Anyways, a lot of the rest of the spots in this video are quite self-explanatory. They're really easy to see uh, and easy to do. Um, and there's not much explanation, therefore, needed for them. So I'll just, um, you know, add further bits of commentary into the rest of the video uh, where it is needed. Uh, but, you know, other than that, I'll just let it play out without me speaking on it. Uh, you guys can just watch it and figure out uh, what they are, what to do, um, and if you want to try them yourself. And, as always, if you have watched this far, um, and you're enjoying it or found something useful, uh, then smash a like uh, for me as well if you can. And now the next few spots um, is literally just going to show a few uh, unexpected or not previously shown uh, windows you can climb into uh, where you can get into small little rooms um, which will give you a little bit of cover, uh, a sort of a hiding place, um, again, which wasn't previously shown. Uh, and yeah, there's not there's not much more to it than that. But just just these are just some small spots which was wasn't shown. Uh, in between B and fleet B and C flag here, uh, there's multiple glass windows. You can climb into some actually pretty big rooms, uh, and they're all along the waterfront, uh, along the side closest to B flag. Uh, and now, therefore, the final two to three minutes of this video are just some uh, funny failed attempts uh, from some launch spots. But, of course, there is the death barrier we did find stopping everything. Um, here, I managed to find uh, an elevator glitch spot. But, of course, it just takes you up to the death barrier. Um, if we'd figured this out before um, the death barrier was uh, implemented in the update, then we might have been able to find the elevator glitch and take us as high as we possibly wanted uh, in the map. But it was still really funny, and the first time I've ever, ever experienced yeah, um, an elevator in, in, in any sort of game. Because I know uh, we have seen this uh, previously yeah, in Call of Duty games as well. Again, if maybe. I remember in the past, uh, when I used to play Modern Warfare 2, there's quite a few uh, in there as well. But here we go, keep going as high as we possibly can. And it's just unfortunate that there is a death barrier. That's the elevator glitch. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I... Oh. 
Yeah, I'm stuck. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one. Hopefully there was a few funny bits there at the end. Um, here again, I just launched up onto this edge of the barrier and it's just trapped. Yeah, There's like an invisible wall to the left and to the right. You can't go anywhere. Um, but I managed to, uh, if you see at the end of this clip, I managed to phase through the wall back into the map somehow. I don't know how that works. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully again, you have enjoyed. Um, if you have found any spot see, useful um, or just funny or entertaining, literally anything in the video, smash a like for me. Uh, uh, leave a comment on anything uh, you want to see or any videos to be created yeah. in the future. And uh, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed and I will see you on the next one. Music is my band-aid